Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's tutorial, I wanted to take a second to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. So let me tell you a little bit about this really, really fun game called June's Journey. It's actually a hidden object mystery game and it's set back in the glamorous 1920s. So you'll be following along the main character, her name is June Parker, and she's trying to solve the mystery of her sister's murder. So the main objective of this game is to find pictures and hidden clues within hundreds of beautiful and colorful painted scenes. The more clues you find, the farther you go into this story and helping June to solve the mystery of her sister's murder while also uncovering her family's many, many secrets. I really enjoyed playing this game. It's really nice and relaxing and it still keeps your mind going, but it's a great way to wind down at night especially. And the best part about this is that it is a free download. So I will have a link down in the description box below and you can go check out this fun game too. And now I'm gonna share with you three Dollar Tree lemon themed home decor DIYs with you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's look at the supplies that I pulled out to create the lemon doormat. So of course you're going to need your doormat from the Dollar Tree. And this one has two sides, and I think this is actually the correct side, but this is a lighter color on the back, so I'm gonna be working on the back side. I also have some scissors, a utility knife, and then the paint that I have, I have this yellow spray paint from Walmart Rust-Oleum and it says it has ultra coverage paint plus primer, so it should bond to this okay. However, I'm a little bit worried it may not have enough pigment in it to cover this, so my backup plan is I bought some King's Gold Apple Barrel acrylic paint, so if this doesn't give me good coverage, then I'll go back over it with this. If you have acrylic paint on hand, you can do that too. It's just a little bit quicker to spray it versus brush it on. I also have my white chalk paint and some paint brushes. All right, so now I just tied some jute onto a marker and I wanna create a um, half circle here. So I've marked the middle. The mat is 23 and a half inches wide, about 23 and a half inches wide. So I've marked it at 11 and three quarter inches to find the middle, and then I'm going to hold my jute tight, and I want this to be as big as I can get it. So I'm pulling this up towards the top. I'm gonna hold it tight on that middle mark, and then just pull this around, and that's gonna be a little bit too big because I'm gonna come off here. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit more, and we just wanna find the corner so that works out about right, and I'll let you know what my measurement is. So I'm just basically trying to get an even half circle for my lemon slice. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller here so I can get this corner. There we go. All right. So let me tell you that the, from the point of the uh, knot on my marker here to the middle point here was one foot. So 12 inches is how tall our mat is going to be. And that's what allowed me to get a nice even half circle here. And now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to use scissors. If scissors don't work, which I have a feeling they're not going to, I have a utility knife and I'm gonna carefully cut out this mat. All right, so scissors are actually cutting it really, really easily. So if you have some heavy duty, these are like kitchen shears versus like crafting scissors. I would suggest some heavier duty scissors, but this is very, very easy. So use this instead of utility knife, it's a little bit safer. Just cutting this here all the way around. And that gives me my little lemon slice. All right, so here is what it looks like. And like I said, I'm gonna use this lighter side versus the darker side. This is more just for looks. It's not necessarily like something we'll be wiping our feet on. So if you wanna use this side, you can absolutely do that. 
but I think that the color will take to this better if I use the lighter side. And then I'm gonna be giving it a few coats of this yellow paint by Rust-Oleum. It's actually in the color Sun Yellow. And I'm gonna take it down to the workshop and get started on that. All right, so I'm down in the workshop. I have my door open. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna let some fresh air in. And I set up a little paint station. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint the mat. All right, so here's after one coat. It didn't do too bad. I think after a couple coats, it'll be good to go. So I'll bring you back and show you after each coat what it looks like. And here's after two coats. I'm gonna do one more coat and see how that goes. All right, so this is after three coats and I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then I'll take it back upstairs and paint in the lemon details. All right, so I have the rug upstairs now and I am going to add in the little uh, citrus segments using my white chalk paint and I'm just going to freehand it with a paintbrush. All right, so let me show you what I've done so far. I've just basically made an archway here and covered the bottom. And then I drew in my little slices here. And that's my guideline. I'm gonna go in and fill all of this in. So all you'll see is the yellow middles of that. And then we're gonna add a couple little seed um, spots in there too. And I'll show you that when we get there. All right, and there it is pretty much finished. I'm gonna add a couple little seeds in there just to give it some more personality. And then I'll probably seal it with a clear matte spray just to kind of keep the paint intact. And then I'll be finished. And now for the really cute buffalo plaid sign we're gonna make. Your main piece is of course from the Dollar Tree. I found this and couldn't pass it up and thought how cute would it be to add a lemon to the center. So you'll need that. I have white and black paint, a foam paintbrush, some scissors, and then I have yellow and green cardstock and a template which I'll tell you more about in just a little bit. All right, so since we are going to be putting a yellow cardstock on top of this, I don't want any of this black showing through the cardstock. So I'm just going to take my white paint and give this a couple coats. 
That way it'll just sort of cover up all the black and it won't bleed through. And here is what it looks like after two coats. So it covered it up pretty good. And now while that dries, we're gonna move on to the next step. And now we are going to create the living that's gonna go in the middle of our sign. So like I said before, I have yellow and green cardstock. This template I just found, I typed into Google lemon outline and found this guy. This one, I printed it and the size of it is five inches tall by three and a quarter inches wide and that's big enough to cover up that circle so we don't see any of that once we add it on there. Of course, you can freehand yours too. You don't necessarily have to have a template or a stencil like this. I just thought it'd make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to cut this out, trace it onto here, and then cut it out of the yellow. And then I'm gonna create a couple little um, free-handed leaves to go on the lemon, just to give a little bit more color. All right, so here is a look at the little leaves that I cut out. I also made a stem. And I wanna give them a little bit more definition. I don't want them to look so plain. So I'm gonna take my black paint and just go around the edges lightly with my paintbrush, just so it has a nice finished edge. And I'm gonna use my double-sided tape to put the lemon together and then also use it to attach it to the middle of the sign there. And now we're gonna be making our own lemons out of styrofoam and some cray paper. So I originally saw this idea on Pinterest and if I can find the original post, I'll link it down in the description box below so you can check out the original one if you want to. But the idea with this one is to use Dollar Tree supplies. So I have two of their styrofoam balls. These are 2.8 inches big and then I also have a pack of their multi-sized styrofoam balls and I'm going to just be using the larger size in here. I feel like the other ones are just a little bit too small but if you'd like to have a try at it, you are more than welcome to. So I'm gonna use this size and this size. I have some yellow cray paper from the Dollar Tree and I also have a barbecue skewer which we're gonna use to tuck in the cray paper. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is roll our balls into a lemon shape. So I'm actually gonna leave mine in the star, or in the packaging here. Or, well, actually, let's take, let's see if I can take this label off. That might make it a little bit easier. I'm actually gonna roll it in the plastic because if it makes a big mess, then it'll sort of be contained and then I can go get rid of the plastic and all of the uh, shavings at one time and I'm not gonna mess up my work surface here but I'm just going to roll this 
And we're actually just gonna mold our ball into a lemon shape. So I actually have a lemon here that is from the Dollar Tree. So you can find these at the Dollar Tree. They're not easy to find, but you can also order them online. But we're just going to sort of make it into a flat around the middle, tapered out on the ends shape. So we just kind of roll it. And shape it. And here's a close-up look. You can kind of see I made sort of a point at one end and made it a little bit more flat at the top. And if you want to add leaves to yours, you can. You want to put them up here where the flat side is. And I'm going to go ahead and roll out the other uh, styrofoam balls so I have all the same sh sort of shape. All right, so I have all of these about the shape that I want them, pretty cute. And now we're gonna wrap them with the yellow streamers. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut off probably about a foot of streamer. And we need five of those to cover this size of styrofoam ball. So I'm gonna cut these all about the same length. This is four, and this is five. We're gonna stack these on top of each other. And then we're gonna twist them, and that's kinda gonna keep them all together for us while we're working with it. And then we're sort of going to make a little pocket for our balls to fit into. So we're gonna put these Pull these out and around like this. Kind of looks like sunburst, right? And then we're going to take our point end and we're going to put this right in the middle where that twist is. And then we're going to cover the styrofoam ball with our streamers. So you kind of want to overlap as you go around because we want to make sure all the styrofoam is covered up. Kind of hold them tight as you're going. This is going to give our lemon a really nice textured look so it's not just flat and plain. And then once you have all of the styrofoam covered up, you gather your streamers again. Double check that we don't have anything hanging out. Kind of Press your streamers around, form it to the shape of the styrofoam ball, and then we're going to twist this end again, but we don't want to go too tight because it will rip our streamers. And then we're just going to cut off the extra here on this end, and we're going to use our skewer here to sort of push the knot into the styrofoam and that way it will secure our streamers in place and hold it tight. Now I do feel like you could use some uh, Mod Podge for this as well. Um, however, it will give it a different sort of finished look. So it's up to you how you want to finish this. I think it'd be really cute. Um, and I don't think it'll hurt anything to use some Mod Podge. It'll keep everything tight. But this will do the job too. You just gotta take your time. 
You don't want to push it in there too far. But we just kind of want to hide this knot up here. And here's a look at the cute little tiny one. I used three lengths of streamer for this one. I think that turned out so cute. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the last two up and they'll be ready to go. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's tutorial. I hope that it inspired you. If it did, give this video a thumbs up for me. You can also hit that subscribe button and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as I bring you new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. Thank you all so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.